the project? Poisonous starfish, Andrew Rochford, the Great Barrier Reef and the Environment Minister. What do these things have in common? Our next story. Somewhere off the coast of Cairns, a ship called the Hero is steaming to do battle with one of the most effective predators on the reef. Righto guys, Arlington Reef, you've all been here before. What we're looking for is basically a 40 minute time swim. Steve Moon, a former Navy man, runs operations on the ship. The 14 divers on board have just one job to do, kill the crown of thorns. Buddy checks here up, thanks guys. They are native to the reef and they are good for the reef in small controlled numbers. But those numbers have exploded into a plague and two million starfish are eating away at the reef. OK, 12.49, in, go. The beauty of this area is incredible. The idea that we might lose it is hard to take. The crown of thorns, or cot, is like something from another planet. The giant predators have up to 21 arms, covered in spikes with a poisonous neurotoxin. Even if one arm is split from the body, a whole new starfish will regenerate from it. A cot will eat the equivalent of its own physical size each day. The only way to control them is to kill them. But the divers have a secret weapon, a culture made from the bile in a cow's stomach. Just one jab infects the starfish and destroys them in less than 24 hours. It creates an allergic reaction within the cot, so it starts to break down, the skin breaks open, and all you're left with at the end of the day is spines on the bottom. Since August last year, the cot-killing divers have killed up to 180,000. But as good as they are, they're just one little boat in a stretch of ocean larger than Victoria and Tasmania combined. Our response this time was far too late, so the best we can hope for is to protect what we can. Killing starfish one by one is a small fix for a big problem. But we've got to look at why we've got these conditions that are making the starfish so common. Cot outbreaks used to happen about twice a century. Now it's every 15 years, and that gap is shrinking. Chemical runoff from Queensland farms turns the tropical waters into an all-you-can-eat buffet for baby starfish. We need to focus on the quality of water which is moving into the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. Unfortunately, there's an imbalance in the system, largely due to us. The current outbreak began after the 2011 floods sent millions of tonnes of flood water surging onto the reef. Beneath the waves, the reef is scarred by years of neglect. Half the coral has died in the past 30 years. 42% of that has been eaten away by the crown of thorns. Cyclones and coral bleaching have killed the rest. In just 10 years' time, coral on the reef could shrink by half again, and a sea of dead coral could ruin thousands of lives. We're talking an industry with an income of $5.8 billion per year and, and 63,000 jobs. We can't afford to lose any of that. We've had the World Heritage Committee come out and say to Australia, we are really concerned about the future of the reef. All eyes are on the new Environment Minister, a man who spent this week trying to kill the carbon tax. But like the reef, Greg Hunt is caught between three major industries, mining, farming and tourism. This is part of the challenge for Australia, that we have onshore activity and offshore activity. The Prime Minister said that if it's too expensive to, to keep emissions where we want them, we're not going to push any harder. Is, is that really the policy we want to hit? Uh, look, I don't think that's a fair representation. Uh, we'll achieve our targets and we'll do it easily. The best thing you can do with the crown of thorns is you target it. The best thing you can do with emissions is target it. Greg Hunt says he takes the crown of thorns seriously. He's going to double the funding and put twice as many divers in the water. The big question mark that still remains is climate change. Because while these guys are out here killing starfish, the water's slowly getting warmer and more acidic. I worry that we're seeing a few dollars thrown at crown of thorns, but the big problems are being ignored. Look, climate change is probably the biggest threat to the reef, but there's not a lot you can do about that directly. Crown of thorns starfish, you can do something about it. But even with a fleet of boats and an army of divers, the days of a pristine reef are already behind us. Rochi joins us now. Rochi, what does it mean to have another boat out there killing these starfish? 
Well, I suppose it's such a huge task. You, you just saw how many of those staff you are there, how much damage they've done in the last few years and, and the years before that. So having another boat out there is going to make a huge difference to them. But the reality is we need to look at the other end here. It's like anything in health or the environment. It's about prevention, figuring out why there's so many outbreaks, why there's so many starfish, and try to take a bit of a load off these guys, the divers that are doing such an amazing job. Andrew, you're looking into the health of the nation, not just the cities, but regional areas. I mean, what can we do? What can the public do to, to get behind this? Well, the one thing that I've found as I've been travelling around Australia is that the health system is broken. Uh, but the problem is we keep looking for the solutions with the policy makers and, and the professionals like myself. So what I've decided to do is turn that around and ask the people, ask you guys, what's wrong with the health system? How it affects you, how you get your information, what you think needs to change. And so I'm launching uh, the Project Health Check survey tonight. It's online, it's on our website. Get on there, tell me what you think is wrong with the health system and maybe we'll be able to tell your stories as well as come up with some solutions that, that you've come up with to potentially fix it. All the details uh, for Rochi's Health of the Nation survey will be up on the website and everyone can get involved. Good work, Roch. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. We're going to take a little break right now. I'm back shortly.